Uh, my name is Rick Gandhi. I'm, uh, I lead Digital Green. And essentially what we're trying to do is to bring together technology and social organization to amplify the effectiveness of existing agricultural extension systems. And we're doing so largely with four main components. One is a participatory video uh, in which videos are created by farmers, for farmers, and of, of farmers. Short modules of, of content uh, that are shared in the local area uh, using a model of mediated instruction uh, through local community service providers who bring together small groups of farmers on a week-to-week -week basis and really create an interactive environment where farmers can learn uh, using these videos uh, and where they share a lot of feedback uh, about their needs and interests and progressively uh, the system aligns better to their needs and interests. Uh, the system really builds upon these existing agricultural extension systems that are already working with farming communities. Uh, so assuming that we have sort of this strong foundation already laid uh, of domain expertise, of some scale in operations, and some uh, level of community rapport already established, then bits of the model can really just build upon those existing interventions, uh, both the technology bits, which are elements of, of hardware in the way that we're producing and sharing the local content using pocket video cameras and Pico projectors, as well as the way that we're capturing various metadata and feedback from the community using online and offline uh, systems and analytics dashboards, as well as an interactive voice response system uh, to provide a faster feedback mechanism. You know, it really depends on obviously the local context about the amount of infrastructure that's already in place. Uh, both in terms of the extension system as well as sort of the, the local context. And then for the model itself and how it sort of gets institutionalized and integrated with these existing extension systems. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I think to, to some extent in, in places where there's no existing extension system, then this model may not be appropriate. Though you can use bits of the model uh, still yeah, if depending on sort of the existing foundation with the community. For instance, if they have the infrastructure uh, for uh, accessibility to mobile phones, they could use elements of the interactive voice response system. If they have access to data connectivity, whether through mobile phones or from computers, uh, they could access the video content uh, independently. But really to have the structured sort of activity where we're really looking at seeing how does the information that's being shared really translate itself into new types of actions in the form of new farming practices and technologies that farmers take up for themselves on their own fields. We really believe that we really need to, to partner with existing organizations. But the system itself also helps actually often strengthen uh, an existing system that might be uh, perhaps weak in that it, just through the process of going through, through video production, the extension agents and the subject matter specialists about particular domains really need to think about what are the topics of interest that we're going to be sharing with the community and how relevant are they uh, and how can we modularize them into short eight to ten minute videos and over the course of time as we're capturing a lot of data from the communities we're also able to inform the extension system about really what are the needs and interests of the community and how can we strengthen sort of the extension system more generally and particularly through this video based approach how can we target our interventions uh, more appropriately